Karibu kwenye channel ya Dr. Mlelo Lecturers. Tunafundisha masomo ya sayansi, yani biology, kemia, physics pamoja na mathematics kwa syllabus ya Tanzania kwa level za O level pamoja na advance. Usisahau kusubscribe na kubonyeza alama ya kengele ili uweze kupewa taarifa kwa kila video ambayo tutakuwa tunarusha. Lakini pia waweze kupata notes pamoja na maswali au kufanya discussion na wanafunzi wenzako kwenye group la Dr. Blelo Students. Bonyeza show more kwenye sehemu ya comment na utaziona linki za magrupu ambazo utafungua na Telegram. Kama unatumia kompyuta utafungua na Telegram desktop au utafungua na Telegram application kwa simu yako. Ukitaka kupata masomo mengine aliyoyafundishwa, bonyeza icon ya kwenye channel alafu itatafuta baada ya nenda kwenye playlist itakuletea topiki utachagua topiki unayotaka kusoma na utaanza kuangalia video bure kabisa nikutakie kipindi chema in this video uh, we are going to continue our discussion on adrenal gland and in the previous session uh, we ended our discussion on the discussing about the the adrenal cortex so now let's continue with the disorders of the adrenal cortex and then we shall move to the adrenal medulla so this is session uh, 55 uh, the first disorder of adrenal cortex is Addison's disease or hypocorticism uh, this is caused by the deficiency of mineral corticoids and the glucocorticoids and is characterized by our uh, face is it is bronze like pigmentation of the skin ko ngozi na kuna rangi kama bronze bronze like pigmentation of the skin i am not good in colors so actually ukinembeni same what is bronze i can't state it exactly what is that but uh that is what i know uh, is one among the symptom or the presentation how the addison's disease can be uh, presented clinically how can you see it and then uh, the second symptom of presentation is low blood pressure uh, low blood sugar uh, that is because of the uh, low amount of deficiency for glucocorticoids uh, which perform the function of uh, maintaining the uh, blood glucose as i told you before that actually it's not the glucocorticoids which are regulating the blood glucose concentration but because they are involved in the metabolism of glucose they help in the conversion of uh, um, other compounds such as uh, proteins and fatty acids into into uh, glucose or into carbohydrate the deficiency of glucocorticoids uh, lead to the uh, blood sugar to to decrease then the said presentation is low sodium concentration in the plasma this is because of the low amount of mineral corticoids as we know that uh, mineral corticoids they are involved in the uh, they are involved in the osmolar regulation and balance of sodium ions as well as potassium and choline ions in the extracellular fluid so the deficiency of mineral corticoids will lead to the imbalance of these ions and hence will lead to deficiency of uh, sodium in the plasma uh, the fourth presentation is high potassium concentration in the plasma hiyo pia ni mineral corticoids kama unavyojua kwamba the mineral corticoids they stimulate the excretion of uh, potassium by in, in in the form of urine renal excretion of potassium so the, the deficiency of mineral corticoids uh, will lead to the higher concentration of uh, potassium in the plasma then the fifth presentation is in is the loss of sodium and the water in the urine that is the dehydration kama tunasema kule mwanzoni kwamba mineral corticoids zina uh, stimulate absorption of uh, sodium uh, chlorine and water kwa sababu gani water wa oro zinafuata sodium ukiabsorb sodium maana yake unaongeza osmolarity on one side of the of the extracellular fluid then water will follow sodium so the loss of sodium in urine will lead to the also the loss of water and that will lead to dehydration then you will have some of the other symptoms such as vomiting, diarrhea and nausea. So those are just our presentation of the Addison's disease. Then we have the uh, second disorder which is Cushing syndrome. Cushing syndrome uh, it is caused by the excess of cortisol which may be due to T3 
tumor of the adrenal cortex. This is characterized by tumor coming with some only tumor the cancer. So sometimes uh, cancer come with you. Cancer is just the proliferation of the abnormal cells. Yani unazo kwa una normal cells the ad adrenal cortex and you know they are functioning to uh, is to produce cortisol. Now the cells uh, we know they are number maybe it is one million. Then they proliferate to five or ten million. So that abnormal proliferation we call it tumor and it can be benign or malignant. Benign unakuwa tu ni uvimbe lakini it can't disseminate yani hawezi kutoka sehemu moja kwenda sehemu nyingine of the body. But malignant tumors ndizo ambazo tunaziita cancer they can disseminate maybe from the lungs to the liver or from the lungs to the heart. That is what we call metastasis. Kwa hiyo uh, ni kwa nasema tu kwamba Cushing syndrome is due to the excessive secretion of cortisol and it is uh, characterized by high blood sugar elimination of sugar in urine hiyo kwa sababu blood sugar kisha kuwa kubwa nephron huwa inashindwa kuweza ku balance uh, sugar kwa at the end of the day unajikuta na eliminate sugar kwenye urine kwa ku eliminate sugar kwenye urine it is one among the sign of high amount of blood sugar then we will have high sodium and low potassium in plasma high, high sodium and low potassium lies in blood volume and blood pressure blood volume why kwa sababu tukiwa tuna high blood sugar manake sugar inaweza act kama small and if it act as small means uh, blood can take water can take large amount of water because uh, it want to have the uh, a certain kind of osmolality kwa ili kuweza ku maintain osmolality it will take large volume of water hence volume of blood will increase and hence blood pressure will increase tako tuna obesity and fat parts on the neck why obesity kwa sababu a large amount of glucose can be converted into fat and that if that fat is accumulated uh, below the skin can lead to obesity or fat parts on the on the neck then you have wasting of the muscles of the thigh pectoral and the pelvic girdle Actually uh, I don't have the pathological explanation of this point and I can't explain anything about that lakini mm sijajua sana kwamba what happens uh, on the wasting of muscles I don't know if there is a protein metabolism or anyway I don't know I'm not sure I have no further explanation regarding this point then you have red cheek yani meno na kwa mekundu we have moon face usona kwa kamwezi then you have poor wound healing or sometimes you can call it as a diabetic wound why diabetic wound it is because uh, the high amount of sugar in the blood kama mtu huyo akipata injury akaanza kufanya hemorrhage yani kumwaga damu ile damu inakuwa na high amount of sugar hasa ile high amount of sugar in allow bacteria kuweza ku live pale sehemu ambapo pana kidonda kwa hiyo kitakachokuepo ni kwamba ha mtu akijikata akitoa hemorrhage and damu ikitoka pale bacteria wakiweza tu kukaa pale hawatakufa kila it is because there is high amount of sugar which allow them to survive there for a long time so you get diabetic wound labda mpaka afanye amputation wakati labda kidonda and this is normal occur in diabetic diabetic patients but because uh, in diabetic patients the, the reason is the same is because the high amount of sugar is the one which cause uh, the uncontrollable growth of bacteria in that wound and this is sometimes people they call it kidondandugu and some people they believe it is it is which but it so chawi it is just a diabetic wound and growth of bacteria which cause that wound not heal faster then you have um, aldosteronism uh, sometimes called as the cons syndrome it is caused due to excess secretion of aldosterone this disease is caused by will have high, uh, high plasma sodium then you have low plasma potassium lies in blood volume and high blood pressure all of these uh, we have already explained them earlier why we have the high blood plasma it is because of the function of aldosterone in maintaining blood sodium level and low blood plasma also is because of function of aldosterone increasing the uh, amount of sodium in the blood will lead to the uh, water to be pulled into the blood and then increasing the amount of water will lead to the uh increase in blood volume and hence blood pressure also we have the adrenoviritism it is caused by excess secretion of male sexy corticoids that is androgens in a female a female develop male type external sexual characteristics such as 
kwa that is what i told you before kwamba uh, tunako tuna vitu ambavyo lazima you must understand them kwamba even female they have androgens and if there is excessive secretion of uh, or production of androgens in female rather than normal will end up with the adrenal viritism and you can see a female with beards and undevil mustaches male voice then small breast and heavy arm and legs also this condition is not only in female in males we have the vice versa of the condition secretion of more estrogen in male called the a condition known as gynecomasia 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 is caused due to excess secretion of the female sexy corticoids which are estrogen in male it is characterized by the enlargement of the mammary gland and the sparse body hair then atrophy of the testes and the feminine distribution of fat so uh, we know as we know that uh, some of the body parts of uh, female they have a uh, large amount of fat according to the year anatomy so even in a gender commercial uh, production excessive production of estrogen will lead to the distribution of fat which is not normally in in males so if you can observe any person with the, these kind of characteristics don't just say it is which it is which no it's not a witch it's just a, a kind of a disorders of endocrine glands call now let you do uh, first let's see first about the adrenomedala adrenomedala yenyewe inakuwa ni ndani it forms the center of the adrenal gland it is rich supplied by the nerves as well as the blood vessels nerves zinakuwa zinachukua adrenaline pamoja na noradrenaline ambazo kwa ujumla kwa zinaitwa catecholamines na hizi hapa zinaact kama neurotransmitters so rather than uh, being secreted as hormones but they act as neurotransmitters so the cells of the adrenomedulla are modified neurons of sympathetic nervous system uh, when stimulated they secrete adrenaline and noradrenaline in ratio 4 ratio 1 the two hormones are collectively known as catecholamines noradrenaline is also secreted as a neurotransmitter by synapses of sympathetic nervous system noradrenaline au kwa jina jingine inaitwa norepinephrine and adrenaline which is epinephrine are formed from amino acid tyrosine tyrosine so these two hormones they are derivatives of amino acid tyrosine and they are collectively known as catecholamines kwa hiyo ah uh, hizi hapa kwa mfano nimekwambia hapa noradrenaline inatumika pia kama neurotransmitter kwenye sympathetic nerves and then let's see about the few effects of the catecholamines as a whole because the effect is the same in the organs now to discuss kule kwenye sympathetic uh, nervous coordination so i hope here is just like a, a revision and i hope kama uliangalia kile kipindi cha sympathetic nervous coordination it will be very easy for you to uh, do a recap here so the action of these hormones are widely spread throughout the body and prepare the animal for action uh, situation often referred to as fight and the flight situation they allow the body to respond to sudden demands imposed by stress such as exercise, pain, shock, cold, low blood sugar, low blood pressure, anger, passion and excitement. Kwa kuna different kinds of stress. Stress ya to define kama tu msongo mazo no. Sometimes it can be pain, it can be shock, it can be cold, extremely cold. Uh, it can be maybe you have seen a very dangerous something uh, anger it can be low blood pressure yeah. so there are different kinds of stress mm, low blood sugar stress in the body kwenda outside its normal range if we know the normal range is from this point to that point stress is going out of that normal point that is what you, uh, we can how we can define stress in biology so the sympathetic nervous system has a similar rule has a similar rule na ndiko ambako catecholamine zina zinatumika so the effect of both hormone is basically ideal as shown in the table below but they differ in the in the effect on the blood vessels now remember if you are told to uh, differentiate maybe the effect of the uh, noradrenaline and adrenaline in the blood vessel remember this first noradrenaline causes vessel contraction of all blood vessels all blood vessels no adrenaline and then adrenaline causes vasoconstriction of blood vessels supplying the skin you see supplying the skin 
and gut and vasodilation of blood vessels to the muscles and the brain so what you can see ni kwamba adrenaline yenyewe iko tofauti na na noradrenaline adrenaline yenyewe inajua kwamba tunapunguza blood supply kwenye maeneo ambayo sio muhimu kwenye skin na gut tunaongeza blood supply kwenye maeneo ambayo ni muhimu yani muscle na brain ili ziweze ku ku cope with the condition of stress so what we are saying ni kwamba both of these hormones activate the two types of receptor sites on the target tissues known as alpha and beta adrenergic receptors these activate adrenal cycles to make it cyclic mp kama tuvo discuss kwenye second messenger and this lead to the specific tissue response most organs have both alpha and beta receptors within with the alpha receptors appearing to be more receptive to noradrenaline than adrenaline vice versa in the case of b beta receptor kwa hiyo the alpha receptor ziko more receptive to noradrenaline that means the beta receptor they are more receptive to adrenaline lakini hiyo hapo haina maana kwamba beta receptor ziwezi ku accept nani noradrenaline they accept but their percentage to respond to noradrenaline is low as compared to their percentage to respond to adrenaline so we have the uh, different physiological effects of uh, catecholamines in different parts of the body kama tulivyo uh, tulivyo study kule kwenye uh, sympathetic nervous system kwa mfano kuna pupil dilation of the eye ili kwamba mwanga mwingi uweze kuingia mtu aweze kuona during dangerous uh, cause the hair to stand on end relax bronchioles thus increase air flow into the lungs inhibit peristalsis inhibit digestion prevent bladder contraction ndio maana mtu akiwa kwenye hatari hawezi kukojoa increase the force and the rate of heart beat it tries to supply oxygen to different parts of the body cause your most general vasoconstriction most general vasoconstriction ili kuweza ku increase blood pressure increase blood pressure yenyewe ili kuweza ku supply oxygen uh, na kutoa uh, end products of respiration na kuweza ku supply nutrients stimulates uh, conversion of liver glycogen to glucose ili tuweze kuwa na glucose nyingi kwa ajili ya energy lakini di, uh, decrease sensory threshold ili mtu aweze kusense vitu kwa urahisi sana na increase mental awareness so hiyo ni a simple recap on the disorders of the adrenal cortex and the discussion on the adrenal medulla this marks the end of this uh, session 55 in coordination and in the next session we will be discussing about the pancreas it is hormones and how are they functioning what are the attachment organs and to some extent their mechanism of functioning thank you everybody and don't forget to subscribe the channel to share the link of this video and then at the end of the day, the uh, video like it and you may share it thank you nice studies